Parallel Scales, everything you need to know so you don't fail music class in five minutes. The major scale is fundamental to music theory in the Western classical music tradition. We use the major scale to derive a variety of different scales and modes. For instance, this is the C major scale, and using only these notes, we can create all these other scales known as modes by simply starting the scale in a different place. They all have fancy names, but each one is said to be related or relative to the original major scale. This mode in particular, the Aeolian mode, also known as the natural minor scale, can be altered to give us the harmonic minor scale, the jazz minor scale, and the melodic minor scale. Although it's pretty clear that all these scales are related to C major, it's a pretty complicated Rube Goldberg device to get to some of them. To get to A harmonic minor, you had to start with C major, go to the sixth mode, and then raise the seventh note by a semitone to end up with harmonic minor. That means that if you were going to go in the other direction and wanted to write another harmonic minor scale, say C harmonic minor, you'd have to find the relative major of C minor, which is E flat major, then determine the key signature of E flat major, which is three flats, then write a C scale with that key signature, and then raise the seventh note by a semitone. It works, but it's a bit cumbersome. There is, however, an alternative. Instead of creating scales from the scales that they're relative to, we can look at scales in parallel and see how they differ. For example, if we were to compare the C harmonic minor scale to the C major scale, we would say that these scales are parallel because they're both based on the same starting note, C. And because they're parallel, we can easily see that these two scales only differ by two notes. The third and the sixth are lowered by a semitone. A couple of small changes made it into a whole new thing. Kind of like how if you swap the ingredients in a sandwich, you get a whole new delicious thing. So that means you can convert any major scale to harmonic minor just by lowering the third and sixth. For instance, if you wanted to write F harmonic minor and you knew F major already, you could skip all that work with relative major and raising the seventh, and instead just write F major with a lowered third and sixth. We can also transform the major scale into other types of scales using a different set of alterations. Comparing the major scale to the natural minor scale, we see that the third, sixth, and seventh are lowered by a semitone. So, any major scale can be transformed into natural minor by just lowering these three notes. The melodic minor scale is a bit tricky because it's different on the way up and down, but it's just a major scale with a lowered third on the way up, and on the way down it has a lowered seventh, sixth, and third. You could also think of it as jazz minor on the way up and natural minor on the way down. We can use similar rules to transform a major scale into any mode as well. A C Dorian scale is the second mode of B flat major, but you could also think of it as C major with a lowered third and seventh. A C Phrygian scale is the third mode of A flat major, or you could think of it as C major with a lowered second, third, sixth, and seventh. C Lydian is the fourth mode of G major, but it's also just C major with a raised fourth. And C Mixolydian, the fifth mode of F major, is just C major with a lowered seventh. C Aeolian, the sixth mode of E flat major, is C major with a lowered third, sixth, and seventh. And C Locrian, the seventh mode of D flat major, has the most alterations from C major, with a lowered second, third, fifth, sixth, and seventh. The advantage of this system is that because major scales are so central to music theory, most musicians know them really well. At least, learning all your major scales is considered by many to be an important rite of passage for a musician. If you also learn the rules for these alterations, you'll know how to produce 120 different scales. But you didn't have to learn them all individually, you just had to learn a dozen scales and nine extra rules for alterations. Realistically, you'll learn some scales one way and other scales another. You might find it easier to think of G Lydian as G major with a raised fourth rather than the fourth mode of D major. But you might prefer to think of D Dorian as the second mode of C major rather than D major with a lowered third and seventh. However you decide to tackle your scales, being aware of the concept of parallel scales and the differences between them unlocks a more holistic understanding of scales and gives you more options to learn them. And that's just about everything you need to know about parallel scales. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and check the description for more videos. Stay safe and healthy, everyone. Thanks for watching.